Hey, hey, what's up you guys? Stockton here from Better Than Data. And today what I wanna share with you is how we can replicate this type of funnel map, this type of funnel breakdown that you would visually see inside of Funnelytics. We're gonna replicate it inside of GA4. And I'm gonna show you how to use the exploration report to do that. Now, before we jump in, I wanna tell you about Better Than Data. Better Than Data is a new project we're starting from the team at Media Authentic, where we are going to be talking about action, the action that you can take from your data, as opposed to just how to collect data and everything about Tag Manager. And of course, we're going to teach those parts because they're foundations. But really what it comes down to is how to actually take action on the data that you have, as opposed to just talking about data collection and the strategy around how to use that data. So that is what we're gonna focus on over at Better Than Data. And if you want to follow along and get started and join the journey with us as we build out foundational courses and workshops, and we have these awesome action plans, then head on over to Better Than Data where you can download the free roadmap and follow along to be there from the very beginning of the journey. All right, let's jump in to GA4. So this is what the report in Funnelytics looks like. We have our breakdown of our different pages. We can see that how many people were on the first page, how many people completed an action, and then went from to the next page and the next page. And we can see the, the breakdown and the rate and the number of people for each step. So if we want to recreate this inside of GA4, let's look at a little small example from the agency website, Media Authentic, where we have people, we want to measure how many people are on the homepage, how many people then click on the data guide up here to be able to go and download this uh, marketing director's cheat sheet that we have, and then how many people actually end up on the thank you page, which signifying that they actually downloaded the cheat sheet. We want to track this small little funnel inside of GA4 and have that break breakdown from each step along the way. To do that, we're going to hop into GA4 and then in the left, you need to navigate to the reports on the left called the Explore Reports. And the main report we're going to do, in fact, if I just click there, you would see a screen just like this. And so then what you would do is click on the Funnel Exploration Report. And the Funnel Exploration Report would bring up um, these two side panels on the left, and then you would have tabs up here at the top as well. So this is what the end result looks like, where we have how many people were actually on the homepage during this time frame, how many people saw the cheat sheet download page, and then how many of those converted onto the final thank you page. In this case, the answer is four people or 4%. So of the 101 people that started on the homepage, four of them, or 4% exactly, um, made it to the final thank you page. So we could say our homepage converts for this goal at 4%. So how would we build this? Well, I'm gonna start in a brand new, fresh, clean report, and we are going to build this together, okay? So what we need to do is actually come down to where it says steps and then hit the pencil icon to edit those funnel steps. And we need to add in these conditions to define what the pages are and what the next, you know, each one of the steps is. So the first condition we want to track is just the page view. So we're going to type in page, search for page view, grab that there. And then we want to define not just all page views, but a specific page, view, right? It's going to be the home page. So we're going to add a parameter and filter by the page location. So I'm going to just start typing in page location. Page location is kind of like the URL. And then what we're going to do is use matches regex. This is going to be the best option with GA4 right now. And the reason for that is because whenever you have query parameters on your URL, GA4 doesn't combine those. So any Q, any URL parameter is going to look like a separate page to GA4. So we're going to use regex to, it, it's simple and you can see it in the bottom right over here. Um, we're going to use regex to combine all of those, whether they have parameters or not. So to do that, we need to grab the actual homepage URL. So I'm just going to copy this, come back to our condition and paste that in. Then I'm going to grab this um, regex that we prepared, and you'll see this in the YouTube description, and we're going to add it to the end of this. Now, when I copy and pasted the URL in it, and it already included the backslash, but the regex takes care of that, or sorry, the forward slash. So I'm going to remove that first, and then I'm going to paste on the regex modifier there. So then we'll hit apply. And this should now tell us how many people saw the homepage. Let's name this homepage, just like that. 
101 people or 2% of all events. Um, all right, then we're going to go add step. So saw the homepage is the first step, then they did something and we're going to say is indirectly followed by, meaning it doesn't have to be the exact next step, but they saw the homepage and then some point later in the future, they saw what was the next step, the cheat sheet page. So again, I'm going to grab this URL, just have it ready for what we're going to do here is a page view event with the page location matching regex of this. Then I'm going to copy that again and paste it on to the end. That's all you have to do every time is just paste it on to the end. Pretty simple. And now this is our saw cheat sheet page event, and this is going to filter down. So of the, what was it? 101. Now we are filtered down to 47. And let's quickly add in the next step. So the condition again, it's going to be a page view and it could be any other event, any event we've passed into GA4, whether that be a scroll event, whether that be a, a time on page event or a combination of those or element visibility or anything. Think of Google Tag Manager's triggers, anything you can filter by and add as a condition in this step builder, which makes it really powerful. So we got a page view event where the page location matches what's the final thank you page i'm going to just grab it without the final slash there matches regex there and then copy this again and paste it on to the end just like that and hit apply this final step is download thank you page something like that there we go and there we have it and it's giving us our little total right here so we'll hit apply and now we have that funnel again, rebuilt right here inside. So you can quickly build out your own funnels based on just page views, or if you wanna do it based off events, or whatever that is, uh, GA4 has the exploration reports that can help you to visualize that in almost a funnel analytic sort of way where you have the, each step along the way and you define whether that's a page view or another event or what have you. And then where this also gets really cool is when you start adding these different segments and different dimensions as breakdowns. So for example, if I want to see what is the breakdown per device for people downloading the cheat sheet, we would be able to see that. And just like that, the breakdown would now appear of how many people are viewing the each step along the way. So homepage or the cheat sheet or the download page from desktop or mobile. And we could uh, add different dimensions. We can do different breakdowns and slice and dice like that. All right, there you have it. That is how we could create a funnel breakdown to see the drop off at each step of the journey, how to slice and dice that a little bit more, add in a different breakdown dimension and uh, recreate that using GA4's Explore report.